Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be converting larger numbers and years to Roman numerals. Okay, before we get started, I'm going to go over some rules and tips and tricks to help in solving the problems. All right, so let's start with rule number one. If you are going from a big number to a small number, then you need to add. All right, if you are going from a small number, like rule number two, to a big number, then you need to subtract. And always remember, when you are subtracting, to choose the opposite letters or numbers depending on the question that you are answering. Rule number three is repeat a letter up to three times. Tip number four is to avoid negative numbers. Tip number five, Beware of any digits with fours and nines in them because those are the numbers that's usually going to have a subtraction problem, which means that you usually most likely will need to find the opposite letter or use the opposite number. All right. So before we get started, let's go ahead and jot down our chart symbol. If I have the number 1, 5, 10, 50. 100, 500, and then 1,000. The Roman numeral for 5 is V, and then Roman numeral for 10 is X, Roman numeral for 50 is L, the Roman numeral for 100 is C, 500 is D, and then 1,000 is M. Okay, let's look at our first example. Let's say we have 1,500. Based on our chart symbol, we're going to separate this number into 1,000 plus 500. So the Roman numeral for 1,000, we have M, and then the Roman numeral for 500 is D. So your final answer is going to be MD. Okay, let's look at 1,700. Okay, this is going to be broken down into 1,000 plus 500 plus 100 plus 100. Okay, Roman numeral for 1,000 is M. Roman numeral for 500 is D. 100 is C, and then 100 is C again. So your final answer is going to be M, D, C, C. Let's look at another example. What if I have 1,900? This is going to be broken down into 1,000 plus 1,000 minus 100, okay? I notice I have a subtraction here. So remember, anytime you have a subtraction, you need to remember you're gonna take the opposite letter or the opposite number, okay? So in this case, we know that 1,000 is M and then 100 is C, but I'm not gonna use MC because I'm subtracting. Remember, we're using the opposite. I'm not going to use that, but I will use CM. Okay, and then the 1000 here is M. So this is your final answer here. Let's look at the number 2003. Okay, I'm going to separate this into 1000 plus 1000 plus 1 plus one, plus one. 1,000 is M, 1,000 is M, and then one is I, one is I, and then one is I. Okay, so your final answer is going to be M, M, I, I, I. 
Let's look at 2014. All right, so I'm going to break this up into 1000 plus 1000 plus 10 plus 5 minus 1. The first thing I'm going to notice here is that I have a subtraction. Okay, so this is going to be V and this one is going to be an I. Remember, when you're subtracting, you have to take the opposite letter or number. And in this case, we have to take the opposite letter. So I'm not going to use VI, but I will use IV. Okay, so 1000 is M. 1000 again is M. And then the 10 here is X. So your final answer is M, M, X, I, V. All right, what about the number 1,238? Okay, so I have 1,000 plus 100 plus 100 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. All right. So 1000 we have M 100 is C 100 is C 10 is L 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 10 again is X, 5 is B, 1 is I, 1 is I, and then 1 is I. All right, so your final answer is M, C, C, X, 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 V, I, I, I. Okay, what about the number 2022? All right, I'm going to break this up into 1,000 plus 1,000 plus 10 plus 10 plus 1 plus 1. Okay, 1,000 we have M, 1,000 we have M again, 10 is X, 10 is X, and then your 1 is I, and then your one is I again. So your final answer is M, M, X, X, I, I. What about 2024? Okay, I'm going to break this up into 1000 plus 1000 plus 10 plus 10 plus 5 minus 1 because we know that's going to give us the 4, okay? And remember, first thing to do anytime you're subtracting, you have any subtraction, let's solve this first to kind of help us, all right? So we know 5 is V and your 1 is going to be I. But because I'm subtracting, I'm not going to use VI, but I will use IV. You're going to take the opposite. When you're subtracting, remember, you're going to take the opposite number or the opposite letter. Okay, so 1,000, we have M. 1,000 is M. 10 is X. And then 10 is X. So your final answer is M. M, X, X, I, V. All right, what about 2025? Okay, so I'm going to break this up into 1,000 plus 1,000 plus 10 plus 10 plus 5. So 1,000 is M. 1,000 is M, 
10 is x, 10 is x again, and then your 5 will be v. All right? So your final answer is going to be m, m, x, x, v. All right? What about 1994? All right? I'm going to separate this into 1,000 plus 1,000 minus 100 plus 100 minus 10 plus 5 minus 1. Okay, so this is 900 here. 100 minus 10 is 90. And then 5 minus 1 is 4. Okay, so we know 1,000 is M. We know 100 is C. 100 is C. 10 is X. 5 is V. And then 1 is I. Okay, but because we have subtraction, remember we're going to take the opposite. So since it's MC, I'm not going to use MC, but I will use CM. Since this is CX, I'm not going to use CX, but I will use XC. And this is VI, I'm not going to use VI, but I will use IV. Okay, and then I'm going to bring down the Roman numeral for 1000, and this is M. So your final answer is M, C, M, X, C, I, V. Okay, what about 1993? All right, I'm going to break this up into 1,000 plus 1,000 minus 100, because that's going to give me 900 plus 100 minus 10, because that's going to give me 90, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. Okay, remember I have some subtractions here, so let's go ahead and take care of that first. So I'm subtracting here, and I'm subtracting here. Negatives, and that's what we're doing here. So now we have 1,000 is M, we have 100 is C, 100 is C, and then your 10 is going to be X. All right, and since I'm subtracting, remember we're going to take the opposite letters. So I'm not going to use MC, but I will use CM. I'm not going to use CX, but I will use XC. All right, and then Roman numeral for 1000 is M. And then for one, you're going to get I. For one, you're going to get I. And then one, you're going to get I. All right? So your final answer is M, C, M, X, C, I, I, I. Okay? So let's try this example here. All right, so M is going to be 1,000, C is 100, M again is 1,000, X is 10, C is 100, I is 1, and then I is 1. Okay? Remember, I have some small to big number here, and I also have another set of small to big numbers. Okay, remember if you're going from small to big, you need to subtract. And this is going to give me negative 900, and this is going to give me 10 minus 100, is going to give me a negative 90. Since we received negative numbers, we're not going to use the negative 900, but I will use the positive 900. I'm not going to use the negative 90, but I will use the positive 90. All right? So now you have 1,000 plus 900 plus 90 plus 1 plus 1. Okay? So you're going to get 1,000 plus 
is 900 plus 92. And you're going to get 1,000 plus 992. And you're going to get 1,992. Let's try this example here. So M is going to be 1,000. C is 100, M is 1,000, X is 10, C is 100, and then I is 1. Okay, and remember, I have small to big here, and I also have small to big here. And if you have a small to big, remember you need to subtract. So... 100 minus 1,000 is going to give me a negative 900. And then 10 minus 100 is going to give me a negative 90. Remember, no negative numbers. So I'm not going to use the negative 900, but I will use a positive 900. I'm not going to use a negative 90, but I will use a positive 90. So you're going to have 1,000. You're bringing down your 1,000 here, plus 900, plus 90, and then plus 1. All right, so you're going to get 1,000 plus 900 plus 91, and then you're going to get 1,000 plus 991, which is going to equal 1991. So that's it for today, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.